Hey guys, this is my twisted sister Joe <laughs> and my brother in law Dave. <laughs> and this is me mommy, Joan. My grandfather Riley was Irish. His my grandmother, his wife, was Scottish. My dad's parents were English. So quite a mix. I had a mixture. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Which songs goodness. do you like, Mom? Which mm -hmm. song do you like the best? Best? Oh, goodness, I don't know. I haven't sang or thought of singing for so long, <coughs> I can't even remember. Remember the song we wrote together? You, you guys wrote a song together? Yeah. yeah. <gasps> do you remember? You and I wrote a song together? Yeah. Remember Dad used to wake me up to sing it? Really? Yeah. Do you know it? Yeah, give me a second. I think it's A you played it in. Let's just sing it because I, I forget how to play it. Do you remember how to play it? Maybe, I don't know. You want to try it? For so long, so okay. Remember Let's how just to... see. Is your A? Oh, I can't play. Yeah. 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 You remember more than I remember. <laughs> Wow. Well, but I can't. I, I'd have to play. It's okay. We'll just sing it. So, to remember it really all the chords doesn't on paper. matter what I say or do. A love that's true and faithful doesn't mean a thing to you. I before. You can, there's something. Yeah, there is. You can have your cake and eat it too. Mom's got all these wrote down. You should see all the songs she wrote. Like a whole binder. Saw that book. Yeah. For a drive and they'd sing all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Do you remember some of the songs that they sing? Sing going yeah. along in the car? Yeah. yeah. No, Uncle Dan and Uncle Dad. With the and radio no, going or something? Yeah. No, no. no. Just, Just sing. singing. We'd all sing. Really? Oh. Yeah. That, that's and my dad played the violin, remember? Yeah. But would the Dan then play guitar? So no, they didn't play. The play. No instruments, they just sang? Yeah. Mm -hmm. they liked, uh, they who just played the guitar then? Your dad? Nobody. Me. You? Played My the dad guitar, played then? the violin. He yeah. used to play for dances when he was young. Yeah. Did you play along with him when he with the guitar? Yes. Yeah. Oh, that was when she fun. got older, she did for sure. Yeah. Different side of the family. I didn't know the, the people very well that lived in town. No, no, no. Your, your aunt. They were my aunts, I know, yeah. but I didn't know them very well. Oh, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Well, that makes sense. Because, okay, stop and think about that. The houses back then were further apart. Yeah. Well, they were in the country and nobody drove. Right. <laughs> so it's very difficult to get your to know your neighbor. Mm -hmm. yeah. You have when, a horse? Yeah, we had horses and, and sleigh. My grandpa used to drive me to school with a horse and cutter in the winter time. I used to walk to school in the summer all by myself. It was three miles to the school. That's so far you had to walk. And it? I had to walk across a hundred acre field and up through a swamp. Wow. All by myself. Day in, day out. Yeah. What was the age that you first started doing that by yourself? Uh, well, I started school when I was six and I transferred to the other school when I was eight, I think. That's when I had to start walking. What was that school At eight called? years old. Mm -hmm. All by yourself. Mm -hmm. What was the school called? What was the school called? Uh, one was number nine, one was number ten. <laughs> That's your school. That was school yeah. name, oh, really? I go to school number nine, I go to school number I, ten. I, I started in number ten. Thank God I didn't go teacher. number two. Were they in Lindsay? Mantine Riley, no, she was out Uncle Dan's wife, was my teacher in grade one. And I did grade one and two in one year. And then she quit teaching, and I had to go to the other school, which was number nine. <laughs> and that's the one I had to walk through a hundred acre field, through a swamp, and up a big hill through another bush, all by myself. Oh my God. So, yeah, Mom. Yeah, no siblings. Would you say that the young girl that did that was brave? Or just did it? Brave? Back in them days, it was just a way know. of life. You had to do you it. Just did it. No what you way. had to what do. What other way was there? There's no option. Winter time, Grandpa would drive me with the horse and cutter, <laughs> and we had to go up through the swamp and up this hill, over this hill, to get to the school. And the horse 
upset the cutter, oh. and Uncle and my grandpa flew out of it, and I was scared. I thought he was going to die. Oh my God! I was just little, like nine, ten. Yeah, not very old. Yeah, but he got it upright again. The way he went. <laughs> so, what is a cutter? A cutter is a, a, a two a sleigh with two runners on, like a runner on each side, and then you oh. can. You can sit two people in it, and if you have a big one, you can sit four. We only had a little one, and a yeah. horse pulled it. Yeah, I had to walk to school in the summertime, so I went, our farm was here, and then there's a hundred acre ranch here, and then mm-hmm. I had to crawl over the rail fence and walk up. There was a, a road that went down to the yeah. lake, but I went up through the bush and and up. A hill, and over the hill was the school. How long did it take you to do that whole walk? An well, hour, three miles. I gave myself an hour, but I it didn't take me that long. No. In the winter too. Mm-hmm. No, no, Grandpa No, they went by cutter. Yeah, sure. horse and sleigh. And she had a blanket for a horse and cutter. Well, you remember Balsam Lake, right? Yeah. Where we? Where Grandpa had the farm. And Grandpa lived on this through the bush and up the hill, and there's Grandpa's house. Yep. And then you go down. The road oh, a I didn't bit and turned right, there and there was a school there, and you followed that road down to the lake. Oh. Do you remember that? That was my dad's oh. house, my grandpa Riley's house. Um, no, don't touch me. I know it hurts or it's irritating. They but. Um, divided it when Uncle Dan married Aunt Jean. They divided the house in half, and we lived in the front half, my grandparents and me. And I had to then. For after the second year, I had to go to the other school because Aunt Jean wasn't teaching at that one school. And when she was teaching, I would get a ride there. there. Oh, so Aunt Jean quit teaching there. Where yeah. did she go? She she, she got pregnant. Oh, so she stayed babies. home at that point. She stayed home to oh. raise her kids. Yeah. So what was that like for you to move from one school to another? It was kind of scary, but uh, and. Um, <laughs> because I had red hair, of course the boys always tease me. I read what colors your hair. You were a I true could, Irish girl. I could run yeah, faster than right. any of them. You so what? I could run faster than even the biggest boys at the school. Oh wow! <laughs> so finally, they when they found out it wasn't gonna scare me or anything, they just stopped teasing so me. Our family when we were young. Tell them about the. Um, was when you first many, started uh, teaching school, your first day on the job. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I started teaching, and I had this little one-room school in the country, and um, all eight grades. And I boarded in a house that was two doors down from the school. So I had to walk along the gravel road to the school and turn. And when I looked at the path going up to the school, all the kids were out there lined up on both sides. <laughs> and they had all eight grades from grade one right through to grade eight. And I thought, uh oh, they're up to something. And they were. They had, um, what did I tell you, Joy? Snake, a snake. They had a snake. And I was petrified of snakes. Oh my God! I did. I just freak out when I saw a snake, and they had this garter snake, and of course, when I started up the walkway to the front of the school, out came the snake, <laughs> right in front of me, and I thought, I said, "Oh, this is great! Put them in a in a cage or a bottle or something. And we'll study snakes today." So when they found out I wasn't scared, they stopped. <laughs> what a great idea. And the bluffed. Next time she saw a snake. You bluffed. Well, I was just thinking, do you know what John and I used to do when we were so, kids? You used to play with snakes. We used to put snakes, garter snakes oh, yeah. in the bathtub. Oh, yeah. Oh, we were oh, trying you to scare worms in your you. pocket they one time I did your laundry. You <laughs> I put my hand in Judy's pocket. And there's a worm. They're all dried up. Well, that oh, makes sense. Yeah. That makes sense. I love worms. You collected them. I yeah. love worms. I yeah. love. See, I loved the earth right from the get-go. I wasn't Nobody afraid of worms, me. but well, snakes I didn't like. 